Yes, the series is drawn. Yes, Australia have another ashes to their name. But this was one competitive series as any. England missed out because of the defeat in that one-off test, but both the white ball series have been taken by them. And as the final leg of this marquee tournament comes to a conclusion, let's take a look at how the ODA series had unfolded in this segment of The Outside View. So let's begin with the big picture. Before the commencement of the ODI series, the Ashes of 2023 had stood at a points table reading 6 for 4 in Australia's favour. The equation was quite clear for both the teams. For Australia, all they needed was that one solitary extra win to be able to retain the Ashes, which has been with them since 2015. But for England, they had a very tough task cut out in front of them. One of them being, of course, the facing of the mighty Australia challenge. But even bigger than that was that it was mandatory and important for them to clean sweep, win by a clear margin of 3 for 0 whitewash Australia to be actually win back the ashes from them. Because having lost that one-off test, out of the 12 points, they had to by all means bag 10 points to be able to win the ashes. So a very tough task cut out in front of England. But you cannot just deny that both the arch rivals went so hard and neck to neck against each other. If Australia were busy displaying how skillful and how dominant they are, England made sure that they gave a tough and suitable fight to Australia in every corner to ensure each and every match went down to the wire. But after all, it's Australia. The Australian juggernaut is just tough to beat, with Australia finally towards the end showing their dominance and retaining the ashes of 2023 with that one solitary win in the second ODI. Now let's take a look at who were the star performers in this series beginning with England. The first player undoubtedly has to be Nat Siver Brunt who was declared the player of the series from England. She was in the form of her life completely being on song finishing with 404 runs and 5 wickets. The perfect all-rounder anybody would want in their team. As for the star performers from Australia their first player has to be their best ranked all-rounder no doubt in Ashley Gardner who was declared the player of the series from Australia she finished the series with 226 runs and a whopping 23 wickets any better all-rounder any dream would dream of it's Ash Gardner, no doubt. And for Australia, well, definitely they are quite dominant and their juggernaut is something which is quite difficult to beat but in this regard, it can be said that perhaps their arch rivals, England, have definitely been able to unravel the mystery behind facing and even breaking the Australian juggernaut because two back-to-back -back defeats in the Wide World Series, both the T20Is and the ODIs, will definitely have Australia going back to the drawing board and doing some real serious homework and introspection and getting into that reset mode as fast as possible. As for women's cricket, in the larger perspective, things look very very bright and shining because this ODI series in England's cricket has been the first series which was completely sold out. Mind you, the women's ashes was going simultaneously with the men's ashes and even with that perspective in mind, women's matches going completely sold out just talks about not only how well the women cricketers are displaying themselves on the international stage, every opportunity being given to them, making good use of them, but people actually noticing women's cricket and prioritizing it. Some very good signs for women's cricket in the larger picture. With this, we come to the end of this review of the ODA series and the Ashes series as a whole. And we do hope that you enjoyed, just like us, watching the Ashes, enjoying all those lovely women cricketers displaying their skills to complete perfection. And do let us know in the comments what you felt, who was the best performer according to you in the comments section. Engage with us with some conversation. And once again, to all our viewers out there, to always stay updated regarding any sort of news in and around the world regarding women's cricket you have your place in women's Crick zone always follow us follow us on our social media handles and you were watching yet another segment of the outside view